guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Today is another episode in my series, Palette of the Week, where I feature a different palette on my channel every week to try and get use out of my collection. And this week's palette is from the Hip Dot and Clueless collection. I've never tried Hip Dot before, but Clueless is one of my favorite movies of all time. So when I saw this, I needed it, and my husband decided to get the whole collection for me as an early birthday present. But this is the palette. It's fuzzy, which totally reminds me of the beginning of the movie when Cher is picking up Dion and Cher makes fun of Dion's outfit, and then Dion is like, well, at least I didn't skin a collie. For my backpack and shares like it's faux so this totally reminds me of that and then inside the mirror hat says total betty on it and these are all of the shadows and i'm basically just i know i've searched it there's plenty of in-depth swatches and review videos on this so this is just going to be me playing with these you, you don't need another in-depth review and swatches and all of that, um, but I, I just wanted to show you what it looked like in case you were interested. And the collection also does come with three lip oils and a blush palette, which I will also put on. So I don't have any blush. Uh, I do have a lipstick on, but I'll remove it. And let's just zoom in and play. I kind of want to start with the blush because I'm super excited about this blush palette. It's like a little flip phone and the bottom flips down with a little heart mirror that is like the design of, I believe, the 10th anniversary DVD that I have. Um, and then four blush shades, two shimmery ones, which could be like blush toppers, highlights, or just shimmery blushes, and then two more like matte with some shimmer in them. Um, and it says I was totally clueless on it, and I think I'm going to just take the two shimmer shades and just sort of mix them because I like me a glowy blush. So this is what the two look like mixed. And we're just gonna, ooh, that is pretty. And I already have highlighter on, so this should blend into my highlighter really well. That's so pretty. I feel so glowy. Maybe this is too much glow for you, but I like it. So, other cheek mix them together and this uh brush that i'm using is from texamo uh they sell brushes on amazon and th they have these fun yellow handles and they sent me these brushes and i think they're so good like this brush is my new favorite bronzer brush of all time but i really like this one for more targeted blush that's not too blown out and i'm just going to take both of them a little bit on the nose and sort of across whatever is left be real glowy oh boy <laughs> Uh, I'm super glowy, but I love it. Those glowy blushes are so beautiful. I, I, I've never tried hip dot, but I think I think at least the blushes so far are pretty good quality. So I'm just gonna take some tissue and wipe off my lip. And I think I want to take the red one, um, which is the sheer shade of the lip oils, and put that on, but actually, sorry, I w wiped off too much, so I had to kind of cover it up. <laughs> okay, 
I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but apparently I have forgotten how to apply lip products because this is the messiest application I've done in a long time. <sighs> wow, good job. So I don't know, maybe it's because the applicator is so big, but I did struggle with <laughs> applying it. Maybe I should have done a lip liner first, I don't know, but it feels comfortable and it looks like a cute, like, pinky reddish tint. It's definitely not what it looks like in the tube. It definitely shears out a lot, but it's nice. Um, definitely the products I was least excited about, though, were these, because you know, they're just lip oils. I don't know. I don't get excited over lip oils. Uh, so, the palette. I think I'm gonna go like purpley red with this look. Um, so, I'm gonna start out with doll face right here. And yeah, just have fun. Oh! Eye primer, eye primer, yes, eye primer. I bought some. Um, this is the Pro Primer High Definition Eyeshadow Primer from LA Girl. I thought it looked similar to the Sigma base, so I wanted to give it a try since it's a lot more affordable. Okay, so I'm just taking the purple and laying that, like packing it, not blending it, but packing it on my crease area. I have the purple laid down, so I'm gonna take a semi-clean, more blending brush and sort of go over those edges. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Ugh. I'm gonna <laughs> pull from another palette. I'm gonna pull from the Mini Controversy and this pale, pale purple to help blend out the edge of this because why not? I mean, I have it, why not use it? My eyebrows were the biggest struggle today because we bought some hair gel the other day because my husband like needed some hair gel and I was like, ooh, I wanna try that on my eyebrows because I saw my friend Slightly Unblended use hair gel on her eyebrows and her eyebrows always look so like, like feathery and amazing. And so I tried it and the gel was like so messy and not drying down and it was so hard to work with and I just ended up wiping off like this whole area of my face and reapplying it so hopefully it, it all blended back together nicely but I really like this light shape for blending that purple out I think that did a really good job then I'm gonna take full on Monet, this red. And put that on the outer corner. And kind of a little bit into the crease, but mostly on the outer corner. I love red and purple together. I was going to do a purple and blue look, but you know, I decided to wing it and do something else. So 
this is where we're going. And I have to make sure um, to get all of the creases in my eyes because uh, my eyes have been really creasy lately, I think because I'm getting older. All right, so I'm gonna take that blending brush again and uh, I'm gonna take doll face and blend out the red color because red should blend into purple. Lid shades. Ooh, this is tough. All the shimmers are so pretty. I think I want to take Pretty Groovy, the light blue, just on the inner half of the lid. And then take totally paused this like maroony shade in between the red and the blue to sort of make them blend together. All right, I'm gonna put on an eyeliner. Oh, oh which eyeliner do I want? Should I make the red pop, the purple pop, the blue pop? Let's, let's do a red, let's go crazy. So this is actually a lip liner, so beware of using it on your eyes, but it's hard to find a good vibrant red eyeliner. Okay, then I'm gonna take doll face on a smudger brush and put that up against the lashes. Then I'm gonna take full on Monet, the red shade, on just a little pencil or thin definer brush and really define the outer corner. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little more of Exposed from the Mini Controversy palette and buff out the lower lash line a bit inner corner highlight yes that is what we need so I think I'm going to take um, I think the obvious choice is Botticelli but whatever I think will look better with this color scheme that I have going on because it's like pink and that definitely goes with purple and red that on the inner corner blend it up and down all right this is pretty much it I'm just going to pop on some mascara and I will be right back all right and this is the completed look I added some grande mascara conditioning peptide mascara I am a grande ambassador I have a code down in the description box if you would like to use it and I really like this mascara. I think it makes my lashes look really long and beautiful. And then the lip oil was driving me crazy. Like the it, it, it kept drying down and disappearing. So I added a gloss so that it actually looked like there was something on my lips. And this is the Bordeaux gloss from Ofra. And I... I know I said this isn't a review video, like in-depth review, but I do want to give you my thoughts if you were interested. I think this eyeshadow palette is super good quality. I love, this isn't my first impression, this isn't my first look with it. I love every look I have created with this. I think the mattes and these shimmers are equally good. It's a really fun, like neutral, with some pops of color, color story. The shade names are so like spot on for clueless the packaging 
very much clueless. Uh, and I feel the same way about the blush palette. I mean, hello, how cute is this? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did want to apologize if the lighting is off. It's not looking as good. Um, one of my ring lights did go out, and so I'm down to one light now. And it went out at the end of doing the look, so... <laughs> It just happened. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any suggestions for future palette of the week, please let me know in your comments down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.